Hey everybody, this is Ray Ogilvie from Hartsville, South Carolina. And today I'm back at Stokes Quarry, located about halfway between Florence and Darlington, South Carolina. This quarry has produced some very important fossils for the state, including dinosaur fossils. The quarry is no longer active, but fossils continue to turn up, especially after a rain. Let's take a look around and see what we can find. Now we're about 60 miles from the ocean. All the shells you see now were laid down when the ocean was here three to five million years ago. And here's a pretty nice shell right here. This is a bittersweet clam. Now here's a neat looking shell usually referred to as worm shell. This is actually a loosely coiled gastropod shell known as vermicularia. The shells are neat but I like to look for the darker objects that have been turned dark by absorbing phosphate. These are the rocks that will contain vertebrate material such as shark teeth. And this is a shark tooth right here. This is a squally corax culpi, often referred to as a corax or crow shark. This tooth has a distinctive shape and is easy to tell from other teeth. This species of shark went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous about 65 million years ago. Now here's a good one. This is the tooth of a hybodont shark. Like the Corax, hybodont sharks went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous. So this tooth is also at least 65 million years old. Now here's a little sand shark tooth. Sand sharks have been around for millions of years and they're still living today. Now here's a piece of petrified wood. It has a very interesting looking grain pattern. And here's another corax. And right over here is another Corax. Oh wow, now this is cool. You know what this is? This is a piece of crocodile scute. This is part of the bony armor that lined the crocodile's back. These pits would face outward, and this smooth side would face inward. That's a nice find.
Okay, here's another pretty good find. Okay, that's not bad at all. This is the rostral tooth of a sawfish. This is one of the teeth that would have lined the sawfish's bill. This blade would have stuck out and this thick root would have been inside the bill. This is an Ishiriza myra. This particular species of sawfish went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous. So this is another fossil that is at least 65 million years old. Now here are several teeth together. Here's a corax and a sand shark and not far away a Cretolamna. The Cretolamna, like the Corax, is definitely Cretaceous age. Okay, now here's a very nice sand shark and right next to it Looks like a broken crocodile tooth. That is a really nice sand shark and a rough looking crocodile tooth. Okay, jackpot. Here's a little shark disc and not far away. A fairly nice crocodile tooth. Now this crocodile tooth is still kind of rough, but it's much better than the first one I found. And plus, I found this little shark vertebra. Well, I think I'm going to call it quits. I've looked the area over pretty good. Just wait for it to rain again.